They came in droves today. An estimated 6,000 supporters of Hawaii teachers took to the streets of Honolulu, marching from the Blaisdell Center to the state capitol. Our Mike Cherry was at the Capitol Rotunda. He's joining us now with more. Mike? That's right, Paula. Robert, it was a powerful show of strength to push for better working conditions for Hawaii's teachers. They came from counties across the state. More than 6,000 strong, Hawaii's public school teachers and staff marched from the Neil Blaisdell Center to the rotunda of the state capitol. The HSTA says Hawaii reached a critical mass this school year. They see how many of their colleagues are leaving after year. They see that they don't have enough teachers and that we're being forced to put subs into classrooms. And they're frustrated. I'm concerned about uh, the lack of teacher funding, which makes it very hard to attract and retain qualified teachers because my son last year had seven Spanish teachers in, in his first year of Spanish. By the first day of fall, the state had 531 vacant teacher positions, including 126 unfilled in special education. Right now, as the instructional coach, I work with our first, second, and third year teachers. I have first year teachers that are not able to make their rent. They're, they're taking out um, loans against their credit cards. Compared to the rest of the country, Hawaii's teachers fall well below the average pay. A starting teacher makes $4,000 less than the national average, while a teacher with 10 years or more experience falls between fifteen dollars and $25,000 short. A teacher with 20 years or more experience falling ten dollars to $15,000 short of the Mendoza line. In the 2017 proposed state budget, roughly $1 billion were detailed in surpluses, none of it for education. The HSTA has proposed a surcharge for investment properties and vacation rentals that passed the House and Senate Education Committees earlier this month. Hawaii is currently the only state in the country where not a penny of property tax goes to support public schools. I think we need to put all cards on the table and try and figure out. I'm committed to having the best public education system in the country. And, you know, I'm open to consider ways to fund that. Mike Cherry, KITV Island News.